need to move on because I have a question. What happens when you send out on a shopping trip a certified shopping diva <laughs> with a certified <laughs> financial expert? Oh, no. I think we just need to roll the tape. Well, today is the day, and I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited because I'm here with Michael Bell, our financial dentist, <laughs> helping me on a shopping trip to Winners and Style Sense to buy two shirts and some shoes. But before we do this, it was always, you always said, Michael, it was really important for me to do a budget and a money map before I go shopping, every time I go shopping. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that process. Yeah, the, the budget essentially is the overall spending plan. It's your income. The money map is a trip map. It's what you're going to take on a specific journey, okay. and you're not going to uh, exceed it. It's like going on a, you know, you're going into Toronto. You have a destination. That's where you go. You don't go left. You don't go right. You go to Toronto. We're going to go to these two places to spend one sh for one shirt, for two shirts, and one pair of shoes. That's what we're doing. Okay, so there's no room for negotiation with you on this trip. I'm very sorry. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Okay, but why is that? Why can't I negotiate with you? Why can't if I see a sale item that I can spend above the hundred dollars? The challenge here is that most people are enticed by stores, by deals, by sales. And what we want to do is we want to decide how to spend. We don't want somebody else to decide. So we need to develop the discipline that we decide how to okay. spend, when to spend, where to spend. If there's a change, we do a different money map because we want to train ourselves. But this money map today is because I looked over at my budget. This is what I've budgeted for. This is what I actually have in my bank account. And I believe it's reasonable. So we're ready to go. So in a few minutes, we're off to Winners and Style Sense, two of my favorite stores to go shopping for shirts and shoes. And I'm taking Michael with me, so wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, Michael, we're yeah. here at Winners. I'm so excited to get my new fall clothes. But before I begin, I'm basically racing to look at the clothes. What advice can you give me before I start? You know, very simple advice. Remember what a sale is. A sale is a sad afterthought that leaves you empty. So be very careful. There are going to be clothes out there with your name on it saying, please, please, I need a home. Okay. Watch out. Be careful. Okay. And remember, if you see something, see a pair of shoes for $40, $50 comes off. You don't have that 10 to do anything else. I don't. No. So you're saying, okay, so you're saying that even if they're on sale or cheaper, I can't use that extra money for something else? No, because you want one pair of shoes and that's all you could get. That's <clears> it. Okay. This is going to be tough, but I'm going to try to do it. So here we go. Come you on, Michael. Do it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. It's only $40, and I love this for $30, so really $40, so it's only $70, and I said two shirts for $50, yeah. so I'm only $20 over. So you can only get it. one. You can only get one. I know, but it's only $10 over, I, I $20 know. over. No, but you budgeted $50 for two, and you can't get more than that. 50 for two, or if you can get one for $40 and less. So what happens if I get one for 40? Can't I just then spend more no, on this no. one? If you get one for 40, that means today's only one shirt. Okay, Michael, you're being a little hard on me. And all I'm saying is, it's only $20. I know, but we sat down and you, you, this, you were careful to say what you wanted. You have a total budget, which is your overall. So we can't, I'm sorry, we can't. So I have to put this back or take one? Yes, only one. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. Let's keep <laughs> sorry, going. Let's <laughs> start. <laughs> I love this coat. And you know what? I'm going to buy it. Just don't tell Michael. I'm going to sneak it into my cart. Here we go. Uh-uh. Before Michael comes, can you please ring these? Uh-uh, 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 thank you. Well, Michael, it was painful. I learned a lot, but thank you so much for being on this shopping excursion with me to buy two shirts. And I got to tell you, I bought two shirts for $34, even though my budget 
was 50, and so I think I saved 16, didn't I? No, you spent less. Excellent. You spent $34, and that's wonderful. Great show. Keep it up. Well, thanks. Well, I've got shoes now to get, so we're off to Style Sense for more finance fun. Great stuff. All right, let's go. Let's go. Michael, the boot I've been looking for for my whole life, it matches everything. This is exactly what I want to buy today at Style Sense. Okay, let's have a look. $3.99? What was the budget? $50. Oh no, this, this can't work. So you're saying I, I can't get it? Not even close. All right. Not even close. Okay, thanks Michael. Hold that. Right here. This is perfect. Okay, so Michael, this is absolutely perfect. So uh, my budget is 50, and at Winners, just earlier today, I saved $16 on the shirts, so that makes it 66. So this is 59, so I totally can buy these because I have the extra money from saving on the shirts to buy $60 shoes. No. Remember, the budget is not about the money, it's this item you wanted. A shirts, you bought two shirts. That item is removed from the budget. So I don't have the $16? No, the two shirts are gone. Okay. So all you have is $50, and that's $59, so I'm sorry. But it's only like $10 more. I know. It's $50 you budgeted. That's it. It's so I can't change my mind and say, no, it's $60? No, no, that would be a different trip. So you have to cancel this, and on a se separate occasion, you budget for this and then you can get it. But what we're trying to do is to train ourselves to not let the shop have us spend, but for us to decide when to spend. So really what you're saying is I take control of my spending, come with a good budget, and stick to it. That's right. That's so right. basically, bye-bye shoes. Bye-bye shoes. It was nice to see you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Sorry. We keep looking. Keep looking. All right. Come yeah. on. I think we found the shoe. So yes. this is $39.99, and my budget was $50. What do you think, Michael? Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> so I, st I stuck within budget. I love it for fall, it's perfect. And I actually feel good because it is actually even under what I budgeted for for the 50. So you're spending less and you're getting what you want. But it took a little effort. Isn't that fantastic? It is fantastic. Come on. And yes. actually, you know what, Michael? It actually makes me feel really good for what I didn't spend. Fantastic. So thank you so much. And that's the goal. The goal is spend some time, be a little disappointed, but at the end of the day, you decide and you find what you want. That's great. That's so good. I'm excited. And ladies, it's so worth it. Check out this shoe. Thanks, Michael. such a hard time. Yeah, he gave you a hard time. You gave him know, a hard I, time. I was like, for a while there, winners, I was like, I don't know. I even cut out some of the arguing. I was like, I don't know if they're going to leave friends here. Because well, I think the thing is, it's totally changing the way that you shop. Like, he mm -hmm. really was like, if that's just your budget, you don't change it. You have to actually go, if you want something different, you have to go back another day and do it. But you came in with this in mind, no, like, divergence or anything. You know what? I think uh, the problem with most of us is mm -hmm. we go with, okay, I've got $100, not I'm going for two tops and a pair of shoes, and the most I'm going to spend is $100. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we think, well, I've got $100, so I only spent, you know, $36 on the tops, mm -hmm. and so I've got now $64 to spend on the shoes. And, but he says, no, 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 you go by item, not That's by right. amount of money you're going to spend. I like what he said about the idea that shops entice you, right? Everything mm -hmm. is like, if you spend $100, we'll give you a $30 gift certificate for January. Oh, or, right. you know, whatever, like, there's all these that different way. ways, like, for me, too, like, points programs, you know, if you get this many points, mm -hmm. you get this much free back, like, all that stuff really does work with me sometimes, right, yeah. to entice me 
into mm -hmm. it. And I like what he says about taking back control. That's like, exactly You yeah. decide and you don't get enticed. You yeah. have your mindset before you go and you do not change your mind. That is so hard. Well, that's hard what he says. Though. Melinda, you have to control this. He goes, we let other people control our spending. We let the sales control it. The signs control mm -hmm. it. The great deals. But you have to start owning it and controlling it. And But I, but what I couldn't get my head around was exactly what you said, Anne. It's like, we always go in with the 100 bucks. And we go, and I tried, and you cut this out too, where I was like, oh, I have extra money because my shirts were only 40 and I had 50 budget. So I had $10 for a scarf. That's reasonable. And he's like, nope, you didn't have on your money map a scarf. So no scarf. And I was like, but wait a second, I have the extra. He goes, you don't have the extra. You wanted two shirts, not yeah. a scarf. And that was really hard. That's a changing of thinking because mm -hmm. you kind of just go with the flow and just buy whatever, right? And that was, so it was a really, really good lesson. Or, it was hard, but or it was the, good. Or the trueness of falling in love. Have you ever been shopping somewhere and you see something, and this is rare, but you just mm -hmm. fall mm -hmm. in love with it and you're like, I have to have it. I love it. Exactly. <laughs> it's my size. Come on, this has happened to you, oh, is it not? Absolutely. Like yeah, and you're like, and it's my size, it's the last one. It was made for me. <laughs> and I will buy it. I have to me. have it. You know what? It all boils down to self discipline. It, it really does. We have to be able to say to ourselves, no, you you don't need that. You don't need another scarf because the $10 is floating mm -hmm. in front of your eyes. And, you know, I, to be honest, I think that's a lot of times where God comes in the picture, where you just have to say, okay, God, I don't have a lot of discipline right now. Um, here, as Michael says, it's God's money. Yeah. We're managing God's money. So... It's a good That's lesson good. for all of us. And Melinda, thank you for being our guinea pig. Being a good sport. Helping yeah. us okay. all <laughs> learn this lesson. And thank you for joining us here on Full Circle once again today. And remember, as we always say, do keep your eyes on Jesus. It's all about Him. Bye.